Good morning. It's May 6th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called The Kingdom is Enough Day. It comes from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. But sexual sin, anything dirty, or greed are things that shouldn't even be named among you, just as is proper for saints, and lewdness and foolish talking or off-color joking, things that are not proper, but rather thankfulness. For you are people who know that everyone who goes with prostitutes or participates in lewdness or is greedy, which is idolatry, doesn't have an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Consider this list in relation to the conversations you hear daily. Compare it to the TV shows that model these things as normal life. Notice how far the world has drifted from what the Bible has to say about conduct. We have compromised a lot. Notice the company that greed has here in God's eyes. It's interesting that many Christians who would never tell a dirty joke or do any of the other things mentioned here can somehow justify greed. The urge to always have more without batting an eye. Idolatry is anything we look at to meet our needs besides God. Why are people addicted to prostitutes or lewdness? Why can't they stop telling dirty jokes? Why can they never feel like they have enough? The answer to all of these questions is because they don't look to God to meet all their emotional needs. When we need pornography or strip shows to feel human, something is missing in our inner man. The problem is the same one that disqualifies people all over the world from God's kingdom. They simply won't look to God for the answer. Today is the kingdom is enough day. Today, notice if you need any of the things listed here and ask yourself if God doesn't have a better way to meet those needs. Let's pray. God, you are my total supply. Every emotional need is met in Christ. Help me to open up to your provision in my life today and recognize that everything I need is from you. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from 1 Samuel chapters 15 and 16 and Proverbs chapter 5. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.